Facebook's suicide prevention tools are now worldwide. Fixed, a traffic ticket fighting app acquired by a law firm, a new Facebook Messenger soccer game, and more. It's Wednesday, June 15th, and this is Crunch Report. What up, TechCrunch land? Hope the hustle is going well for everyone. Let's get right into it. Fixed, a traffic and parking ticket fighting app, has been acquired by a law firm called Logix, a multi-state law firm that's actually part tech company. It's been a tough ride for Fixed. They had been blocked in major cities like LA, San Francisco, and Oakland, and had to switch up their parking ticket business altogether and focus more on traffic tickets. This acquisition will be more for the tech itself than the team, and the terms of the deal were not disclosed. I didn't know this till today, but Facebook has suicide prevention tools built right into it. For example, if you notice a friend is posting suicidal thoughts, you can click the top right drop down arrow, select report this post, then I think it shouldn't be on Facebook, followed by it's threatening, violent, or suicidal, then get even more specific, followed by all the options that you can do to help, including anonymously notifying Facebook. Well, the good news is, Facebook has updated their suicide prevention tools and made them available worldwide, which is great since suicide is an ever-growing problem around the world, and getting people the help they need, I'm all for. WWDC is happening all this week, and during a security presentation, the company revealed the deadline for all apps in its app store to switch on an important security feature called App Transport Security. As much as you all think I'm handsome, charming, and smart, I don't know what that is or means, really. Let's talk to TC reporter Kate Conger, who covered the story. Kate, how are you? I'm good, Tito. How are you? Good. You're new to TechCrunch, right? Yeah. I just started about two months ago. Nice. So, app transport security. What is that? I see like HTTPS also, <laughs> uh, the beginning of URLs. Yeah, so app transport security is um, just a feature that Apple makes available to developers when they're making apps for iOS. and. Uh, what app transport security does is it makes sure that the app is connecting to the internet over a secure connection, an HTTPS connection. Cool, and, and how will this affect developers? Hopefully it won't be too difficult for them to make this switch. Apple already made app transport security available in iOS 9 and made it a default for developers, so only the ones who've like opted out in the past are going to need to opt back in by the end of this year. Okay, and this is a trend that's happening, right? Yeah, a lot of websites are making the move over to HTTPS just to make uh, their websites more secure and make the sites more secure for readers. Um, TechCrunch is announcing today that we're switching to HTTPS and a lot of other websites have done the same switch. Very cool, thank you. Yeah. Security! Security! <laughs> now I'm that much wiser on app security happenings. Thanks for the info, Kate. Dating apps. What will they think of next? Bumble, the female-led dating app, is partnering with Spotify. Bumble users will soon have the option of connecting their dating profile to their Spotify account, so it can include the top artists they listen to most. Users can then tap on an artist featured in someone's profile, and it will take them to the artist page in the Spotify app. Now you can find love based on similar tastes. You like polka. They like polka. Boom! Look at that! You're together! Oh, now you had a baby! Ooh, it's not working out! Divorced! Back on Bumble app! Circle of life. Around last March, Facebook Messenger released a hidden basketball game when you updated the app. Now they've done it again with a soccer game. First, remember to update your app. Then send any of your friends an emoji soccer ball. Then when you or them click on the soccer ball, it opens up the game. It's a simple soccer ball juggling game that just like the basketball game is a little bit addictive and just like the basketball game, Greg Kampar keeps beating me at. He has the dexterity and nimble fingers of a ninja ballerina. Check it out when you have a chance and have some fun. That's the report for today. I'm Tito Hamzy. Crunch Report airs every weekday at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific on techcrunch.com. You can also find us on iTunes and on YouTube. See you tomorrow.